Okay, in this distribution we are looking at a table uh, which is the joint distribution of two discrete random variables x and y. x can take the values 1, 2, 3, y can take the values 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. In the last video we found that c, this is the second, this is a, a succession to a previous video. Um, uh, essentially the only thing we really need to know here is that c, in the last video, c is equal to 1 over 30, so this is actually 6 over 30, 4 over 30. That's the joint probability. Okay. So uh, in the last video, we calculated the expected values of x and y. But what we're going to do now is down at the bottom, calculate the expected value of x times y. Okay. And the covariance of x and y. Show that it is 0. Now, from the last video, I sh uh, calculated the expected value of x and the expected value of y. So I'll just sort of drop that in into conversation when the time comes. Okay, so the, we're looking for the expected value of x times y. Okay, whoops, let's just straighten up there. Okay, so what I have done here is the table. I've set it out again. So I've actually just, uh, I, those are the probabilities there. Okay, uh, I actually originally wrote them down in the bottom corner in terms of just simplify them as much as I can. I didn't realize it's a bad idea. So everything there is in terms of... Um, the probabilities uh, with the common denominator of 30 okay so what we're going to do here is uh, multiply out x and y so we have uh, 1 2 3 y times uh, 2 times 1 2 4 6 uh, 3 9 or sorry 6 9 and uh, 4, F8, and 12. Okay. So, um, just actually as a remark, uh, this is sorry, sorry, just a sort of a blimped there for a second, is that like the probability of eight is zero so just actually just remember that that's zero over 30 and that's zero over 30 so we're going to sort of disregard eight and nine there okay so we're actually interested in one the outcome of one two three four six and twelve okay and so that's why eight and nine i actually just temporarily blipped there a bit myself okay so this is the expected this this is the probability of each outcome so uh, we could have, so the, the possible outcomes are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. 8 and 9 just got dropped because the probability is 0, okay? So let's just actually uh, see where this table comes from. Uh, 1, that's the only way we can get 1, x equal to 1, y equal to 1, okay? So the probability of that is 6 over 30. The probability of 2 is either y equals 2 and x equals 1, which is uh, 3 over 30, or x equals 2, y is equal to 1, which is 4 over 30. So 7 over 30 plus 4, uh, 7, sorry, 4 over 30 plus 3 over 30 gives us 7 over 30, which is what we get down here, okay? Uh, 3, there is two ways we can get 3, uh, 1 and 3, uh, 3 and 1. Uh, two, 2 over 30, 2 over 30, altogether that is 4 over 30, okay? So that's what we got down here. And so on. And remember, 8 is, like, the probability of 8 is 0 over 30. Probability of 9 is 0 over 30. They get dropped. Okay? So, we construct, this is the joint, the distribution of the, the product of X and Y. And so that is the probability, that's the outcomes, all the possible outcomes of the products. That's the, all, all the corresponding probabilities sort of uh, gleaned from that table just above. And what we're going to do here is calculate the expected value of uh, x, y. Okay, so what we do here is simply multiply 1 by 6 over 30, gets 6 over 30. 2 by 7 over 30, gets 14 over 30. 3 times 4 over 30, get 12 over 30. And so on, and so on. What we have to do then is add them up. 6 over 30 plus 14 over 30 plus 12 over uh 30 plus 24 over 30 plus 30 over 30 plus 24 over 30. Tot them up, you should get 111 over 30, or in other words, three, sorry, 11 over 3. Okay, 
So that is the expected value of x times y. Okay. So the covariance, the covariance of x times y is the is the equal to the expected value of x y minus the expected value of x times the expected value of y. Now this actually the expected value of x and the expected value of y were calculated in a previous video. So essentially it was five over three and eleven over five. So just multiply them out. We have I'm I'm going to leave this in terms of. Or, or like uh, 110 over 30 just going to put it back over 30 just make the the ca calculations easy to follow so we have 5 over times 22 over 3 times 10 uh, t turning 11 over 5 into 22 to over 10 just so that actually the denominator will end up with 30 as well we end up with uh, 110 minus 110 over 30 so that ends up giving us 0 ok so um yeah that's actually the this part of the video done there's another follow up exercise that comes after this so i'll leave it there